So what's going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we're going to see how we can make use of the search bar which we have right here to actually filter out the movies. Now obviously for that we need to have this header have somehow access to these movies right in the UI. Now how do we do that? Well for now you can see that the movies are stored in an array called movies which is a local state of the movies component. Now, uh, you might know that if you want the header to access this particular state, there are, you know, at least two legal ways which we know right now. The first one is moving the state up the hierarchy so that you have a common parent. And the second one is centralizing the state somehow, right? So these are the legal ways, right? So you can have some dirty ugly ways as well but we are not talking about that so legally for smaller projects like these for example if this is the only purpose of your website like displaying the header and displaying the movies what you should always do is just keep the complexity minimal that is just you know just moving it up the parental hierarchy is the simplest way because then you can just drill the prop in one or two components and you'd be good to go so let's just proceed with that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this and I'm going to move up to my app.tsx and I'm going to paste this right here, right? So we're going to bring in the use state and what I'm going to say is I'm going to pass in the movies to header like this and for movies in the movie section, I'm going to pass in like this and set movies as this, right? So header does not need to set the movies. So we're just gonna, you know, keep it like that. But what we want header to do is we want header to mutate this particular movie thing, right? So for that, I guess we're gonna need to pass set movie to header as well. So what we have right here is uh, we're gonna go to the movies and we're gonna see that right here inside the props we're gonna say it receives some sort of props and type props is movies as any and set movies as any right we're gonna work on this movies and set movies in the next video or so so for now just stick with me so i'm gonna say props.set movies and i'm gonna say props.movies and props.movies right so once we have that in place this should not be any different from what we had earlier but by doing this what we did is now inside the header we will have access to our movies right so again I'm just gonna throw in some props here I'm gonna say type props is movies as any and set movies as any right so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say that whenever I try to modify the uh, search here, right here, we're going to update the movies, right? But we don't really want to, what we don't want is we don't want the header to actually destroy the original movies array. So that, that means that we don't want the header to ever call set movies. So what we're going to create, do is we're going to create another state and we're going to say this is temp movies and set temp movies right so <clears throat> what we're going to do is once we create we call the set movies we also call set temp movies which is going to initialize this thing and then our movies array would use this and our header would use both of them because it wants to filter on this and it wants to set movies on this right so you see what's happening here we are calling set temp movies when do we call set temp movies is when we do something like this right so basically this thing and yeah there we go right so once we do that what we're gonna do what we are doing actually is once we have the movies we update both of them but in the header we pass in the modified movies that is the you know the actually not the 
this one, the modified movies. And we pass the setter as the setter for the modified movies. And what we want to do is not really, not really modified actually, actually. This should be actually movies only because we want to filter on the movies, but we want to set on the modified movies. So how do we do that? Well, inside header, what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way down to this input base. And I'm going to set the value to, you know, I don't know, let's say input val. And right here, right here, I'm going to say const input val set input while is use state of a string and what we can do is maybe on change we're gonna get an event and I can just set input while as e dot target or maybe actually just you know call update movies and e dot target dot value right so now we can go ahead and define this function update movies with the search and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the temp movies first of all or actually not the temp movies set movies um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say props.movies.filter I'm going to say a movie and only the movie should pass which contains that particular search thing right otherwise it should not pass and we want also want to set the input while to the search right so let's see if that has anything for us to complain about also we need to update how we retrieve movies in the movies file so when we perform the ajax request we get the movies and what we have to do is first of all retrieve the search field out of them then we finally flatten the array right and then we map over the movie again instead of like just updating that to the state we map again and extract title year image and imdb out of it and then we finally set the movies props movies and temp movies automatically right so now we have consistent data all across the site. So here as well, inside the movie as well, we're going to make use of the same thing because now our state contains the updated data, right? And again, this, this little snippet is just from the future because of a little bit of corruption in the video data. So I just had to recreate the second half of this video. So again, we just did this updated movies and updated it inside the temp movies and the movies fields, right? In the header part now what we would do is we can just gonna set movies by getting the movies and filtering them on the basis of title and we lower lowercase it right and then we finally check if the title includes what we are searching right if it includes then it is included otherwise it's not included finally we can see that our index.tsx file right here app.tsx actually would kind of look like the same again with a little bit of differences which we would discuss in the future because this video this part of the video is again from the future so we have seen this and we actually pass the set movies as the set temp movies because we don't really want to modify this one the original one but obviously we want it to pass the original movies because we want to filter on that right so that's that and uh, yeah that's pretty much it how it works how it would work and this demonstration i would show you in the next video so yeah that's all for this one if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one